Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Madrid Ball. I hope you all are doing good. And today in this video, we will be reacting to the open letter that Zinedine Zidane wrote to all Madridistas. We didn't get a proper farewell press conference for Zinedine Zidane, but a former coach in his open letter spoke about his reasons to leave, what made him think it was the right time to step down, and whether he would continue coaching in the near future as well. We will be covering all of that in this video, so let's get started. First, Firstly in the letter Zidane was very grateful that he had a chance to stay at Real Madrid for 20 years. He was thankful for the support and the faith that the club had placed in him in the past years and he said, For more than 20 years from the first day I arrived in Madrid and wore the white shirt, you've shown me your love, I've always felt that there was something special between us. I've had the enormous honour of being a player and a coach of the greatest club ever but above all I'm just another Madrid fan. For all these reasons I wanted to write this letter to say goodbye to you and explain my decision to leave the coaching job. Then Zidane spoke about the time when he was asked to return for his second stint. He said that the fans were the primary reason why he made a return. He was aware that the Madridistas wanted Zidane to step in and resurrect a sinking ship. He said when in March 2019 I accepted the offer to return to Real Madrid after a break of eight months, it was of course because President Florentino Perez asked me but also because all of you asked me every day to do so. When I met you on the street I felt your support and the desire to see me with the team again. I share the values of Real Madrid. This club belongs to its members, its fans and the entire world. I've tried to follow these values in everything I've done and I've tried to be an example. Then Zidane followed those words by talking about the time when he first joined Real Madrid. He dedicated a few words to Mr. Florentino Perez. He said, Being a Madrid fan for 20 years is the most beautiful thing that's happened to me in my life and I know I owe that entirely to the fact Florentino Perez backed me in 2001. He fought to get me to bring me here when some people who are against it. I say it from the heart and I will always be grateful to the president for that. But then came the part when Zidane explained why he felt the need to leave Real Madrid. He mentioned that it wasn't because he was tired of the coaching job but because he felt that the club no longer trusted him. He also compared the time when he left Real Madrid in 2018 and how the circumstances were different at that point of time. He said in May 2018 I left because after two and a half years with so many victories and so many trophies I felt the team needed a new approach to stay at the very highest level but right now things are different. I'm leaving because I feel the club no longer has the faith in me I need nor the support to build something in the medium or long term. I understand football and I know the demands of a club like Real Madrid. Then Zidane explained properly about how he felt underappreciated for the amount of effort that he had put in throughout the season. No doubt this was one of the most difficult season for Real Madrid but Zidane felt that he was not given enough respect for the fight that Real Madrid showed during the season. He said I know when you don't win you have to leave but with with this, a very important thing has been forgotten. Everything I built day to day has been forgotten. What I brought to my relationship with the players, with the 150 people who work with and around the team. I'm a natural born leader and I was here to win trophies. But even more important than that are the people, their feelings, life itself. And I have the sensation that these things have not been taken into account. There has been a failure to understand that these things also keep the dynamics of a great club going. And lastly, Zidane also spoke about the relationship with the precedent in recent times and these words do give us an insight about what was going on behind the scenes. From the words that Zidane wrote, it feels that there was a bit of tension. He said, I want what we have achieved together to be respected. I wish my relationship with the club and the president was a little different from the other coaches in recent months. I wasn't asking for privileges, of course not, but a little more memory. And when he says the word memory, it is possible that Zidane was talking about the time he turned things around during his time with the Los Blancos. If you remember, during the first stint of Zinedine Zidane, he took over a team full of superstars who somehow were not able to get the right results. It was only when Zidane took over, Real Madrid went on to have the sublime three-peat and then of course even in the 2019-20 campaign, Real Madrid were inconsistent in the first part of the season but in the second half of the season, Real Madrid went on a run where they consistently churned out the results to win silverware and as you know, due to these reasons, Zidane got the reputation of being a specialist at turning things around. We were saying this even during the time when Zidane was was under fire mid-season, we were saying that Zidane deserved a chance to turn things around. He should be given time to resurrect the team until the end of the season. And to the credit of Zidane, that is what he managed to do. And to an extent, he shut down his critics. But in the following lines in his letter, Zidane explicitly mentioned the time when there were rumours that he was going to get a sack at mid-season point. He said, Today, the life of a coach on the bench of a big club is two seasons, not much more. To last longer, human relationships are essential. They are more important than money, more important 
important than fame, more important than anything. You have to take care of them, that is why it hurt me so badly when I read in the press after a loss that I was going to be sacked if I didn't win the next match. He further elaborated, it hurts me and the whole team because these messages were intentionally leaked to the media, creating negative interferences with the team, doubts and misunderstandings. And that is very sad to hear, Madridistas, that people were there who were targeting Zinedine Zidane and they tried their best to disrupt the harmony in the side, but Zidane gave a lot of credit to the players. He said, thank God I had wonderful men who supported me until death. In difficult times, they saved me with great victories because they believe in me and they knew I believed in them. Of course, I'm not the best coach in the world, but I'm able to give the strength and confidence that everyone needs in their work. Whether they are a player, a member of the staff or an employee, I know exactly what the team needs. And then Zidane, on a concluding note, also addressed the fans. He wanted the fans to understand that the team had given the role. He said, During these 20 years in Madrid, I have learned that you, the supporters, you want to win, of course. But above all, you want us to give everything. The coach, the staff, the employees, and of course the players. And I can assure you that we have given 100% for the club. Now, on these words, I think there has been a general understanding that Real Madrid didn't give up trying at any point this season. There were some difficult phases, but we were able to overcome those problems and I don't know about you but I am satisfied with the effort that the team put in as a whole. We didn't win trophies but I appreciate the fighting attitude that was shown by the team. Anyway Zidane also had a message for the media and you just knew Zidane would address them. They were literally at his back throughout the season and Zidane took this opportunity to offer a few words for the press. He said I also take this letter to send a message to the journalists. I've done hundreds of press conferences and unfortunately we talked very little about football. I know know that you all love football, that this sport unites us. However, without wanting to criticize you or give you a lesson, I would have liked the questions not to have always been of controversy, that we talk more about the ball and especially about the players who are and will always be the most important in this sport. Let's not forget football, let's get on with the football. And clearly there Zidane is showing the part to the media, he has faced problems dealing with them and with these words he is asking the media to focus more on the pitch rather than focusing on the politics happening behind the curtains. So those are the final words of Zinedine Zidane and obviously many of you were shocked and disheartened to see him leave. We are still looking for a coach at the moment, we are still waiting for a proper sporting project but apparently we will have to wait for some time and hopefully very soon we will have a proper plan in place to take this great club forward. We will be keeping an eye on the latest updates but as for now that is all I have in this video. Do let me know what were your thoughts when you came across the open letter of Zinedine Zidane what did you make of the words that Dan used? Write in the comments below. I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Glory to Madrid. And as always, a la Madrid.